Taking to the ring now, Savannah Marshall. There is her support, Silent Assassin. They call this young lady, comes from the North East. Talk about a Savannah Marshall, one of her toughest fights, I think, that I've seen her in so far. And to be honest with you, I think this is one of the reasons why we do not see that match between her and Clarissa Shields in the Olympics at that particular time. Because I think you guys are going to witness something right here, what I see automatically, to why this fight was missed in the Olympics and why we cannot find it. And I'm going to tell you right now, this opponent in front of her, Fontanji, is a fighter. She's strong. She's got power and she got some speed. I want you to watch how Marshall takes her speed. Check it out. Fontaine is not boxed here so far. Her opponent Marshall has. Where she lost to Shields, of course, in that final, the American. And uh, I'm sure there's a bit of I told you so backstage. Shields already in the ring here. And who knows? Maybe fated to meet again, we shall see. Marshall stands in the way of that. Introducing the boxer in the red corner, representing Great Britain. Marshall beat uh, Nash, Laurel Nash of Sweden, a very experienced fighter in her opening bout. Introducing the boxer in the blue corner, representing Netherlands. Kick the whole thing. Okay, boxer. Keep your head up. No holding and no low blow. Good luck. So, for a place in the semi final of the women's middleweight division and a guaranteed medal. It's Savannah Marshall of Great Britain in the red against Nushka Fontaine of the Netherlands. Marshall's not awfully used to fighting women who are a matcher for height, but that is the case here. Moreover, Fontaine's reputation well worthy of maximum respect after a straightforward preliminary. This is really where the tournament starts for Marshall. In case you've joined our global broadcast from ringside and it's certainly a pleasure to have you along you're fairly new to the duration of the women's bouts four two-minute rounds as opposed to three at three minutes each duration in the men's one or two telling blows early on here from Fontaine Marshall has felt them jolting shots No that jab's not really snapped out as Marshall would want it to do in this first round. For me, not looking as sharp as she did in her opening fight the girl in the red vest end of round one qualified physiotherapist on time Fontaine takes out on all three cards, I think. 
most inside the arena, including in the commentary box here. We're expecting that. Lee Bullen is in the corner with Marshall. He backs up Robert McCracken as one of the head coaches in the British squad. I've never seen him panic in his life. Round two. Second of four scheduled rounds in the women's middleweight division and an early lead for Fontaine of Netherlands in blue against Marshall of Great Britain. Yes, but the pennies dropped for Marshall. She knows inside herself, without being told what the scorecard said, that first round wasn't good enough from her. Not to her standard. You cannot afford to give rounds away in this tournament. Fontaine on the back foot a little bit more early in this second round. Much more aggressive here, Marshall. Closing the range quickly. Uh, decent, decent work. No holding. No holding. Just don't know how much Fontaine had put into that opening round, but suddenly uh, the energy level seems to have dropped from her side as well. Now she may be just taking a breather with the next two in mind. We don't know yet. Much busier in this second round, Marshall in red. And uh, problems with the headgear for Savannah Marshall. And Fontaine retires to the neutral corner. A little more mindful now, Fontaine of the Netherlands, to the power of Savannah Marshall. Lands with a solid straight right there, twice over. As they say in boxing, she has got good legs. She closes the distance really efficiently, Marshall. I'm efficient through most of that second round. The box so here you go. This is one of the reasons why we do not see that fight between her and Clarissa Shields. When Tanji is giving her that work, Tanji got that speed. She knows how to use everything in the ring to get away from Marshall and also use contact to hit Marshall with those power punches. Now, if you notice Marshall, she's really good with the jab and she's still using that jab to this day. Everything works off that back foot, which gives her that power. But if you notice, Marshall's starting to really break down as the fight continues on. Let's check it out. Do exactly what she's just done in the previous two minutes. Let's remember, though, if she does win this round, she's only back where she started, at level. That's the problem when you give the first round away, as she did do in this fight. Well, two to one for Fontaine after that second round. That's certainly what we weren't expecting. It's the way the judges have seen it. Don't give the first one away. You're making your life so much more difficult. Fontaine still in control overall. Just a sense in the last round that Fontaine saved a little bit for the second half of this contest. Here we have two European fighters, and I think one of the most intriguing parts about competitions like this, nobody can guarantee how European fighters are going to travel to a different part of the world and how much they are ready to cope with the conditions. I don't mean in the hall, I mean in the entire tournament, walking around in the heat, the food, the hydration, all the factors that go with that. Marshall, just got that right hand working briefly. She has been on the front foot, certainly through round two, and so far in this third round, the Great Britain girl in red. Fontaine has 
Showing some decent defence. Takes a right there though. This contest is in the balance right now. This closing 30 seconds of this third round could well decide the outcome overall. Uh, cracking, cracking combination by Fontaine. Moving backwards as well. So accurate. Marsha's getting a little bit square on when she does close the range now. And that's making the target easier for Fontaine to find. End of round three. Fontaine with the lead after the opening two rounds as she maintained it. Maybe even widened the gap between herself and Savannah Marshall of Great Britain. Now, look at Marshall in the corner. She looks like she's had a couple of hard rounds here, doesn't she? And my suspicion was that Fontaine might have been saving a little bit. I thought she looked fresher in the corner after three. Fontaine takes it on all three cards. Huge lead now. Round four. Savannah Marshall of Great Britain needs a knockout in the fourth round, fourth and final round. Fontaine is boxing very well. The girl from the Netherlands. She's managed the task against a highly rated and respected opponent extremely well. Principles. One, start fast, get that one in the bank. And if there is to be a round where you just step off it to make sure you get the trip, do it in the second round. Marshall may well pay for that sluggish opening round. Lifted her work rate since. Fontaine, even when they've got up close, she's enjoyed those exchanges and boxed very well at times off the back foot. Yes, and further to that, I think in the main what we are seeing is that Fontaine is slightly the heavier handed of two fighters who are stylistically so similar. Just that little, that jolting jab, big factor in this fight. Well, desperation here now for Savannah Marshall of Great Britain, who's trying to land the big right. Audible shout of come on from Marshall's corner. You no know, time is running out. She's tried everything she knows, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Both arms race skywards by Savannah Marshall of Great Britain, a more mooted Fontaine of the Netherlands as she goes back to her corner. But surely the girl from Great Britain didn't close the gap. They're not saying much in that Dutch corner, but if they do win, well, that actually the body language does the job for me. They set their plan out long before the first bell. They knew what they were in against. They knew how to deal with it. Very, very impressive, calm, organized work in the corner. Let's talk about it. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back. I got some more for you. Check it out. Boom! The verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by split decision. Senhoras e senhores, a vencedora por decisão dividida do canto azul. In the blue corner. The Fontaine of the Netherlands. Medals in Rio with victory over Great Britain's Savannah Marshall in this middleweight quarterfinal. The winner on points and a split decision.